the movie Aismaya talks about the love story between Lieutenant Aismaya and newly recruit Mario Falak. Aismaya is known as one of the toughest lieutenants in the Austrian armed forces and he is also known for his tough and harsh way of dealing with new recruits. Lieutenant Aismaya is secretly gay and he hides this from his wife and his comrade because he thinks that if they find this about him that they would start disrespecting him that he would lose his respect and his position. This particular moment starts the love story between Lieutenant Aismaya and newly recruit Mario Falak. Their story begins when the newly recruit are taken to this place which looks like a waterfall. I think it's one of their training ground where you are supposed to cross to the other side with this zip line also. But Mario is very scared and Lieutenant Aismaya tried to suit him telling him that it's okay he's here with him that he can actually do this that he does not need to be scared lieutenant mayor then goes closer to falak to give him even more personal and close-up reassurance that he's going to be okay after this training the new recruit all gathered in the cafeteria taking a beer or two he then dear falak to go and give lieutenant ace mayor who was also in the cafeteria with them a kiss on the cheek fala goes to ace mayor and tells him this he basically tells ace mayor that it's a bet and that they can actually share the money 50 50. hearing this ace mayor goes to the group of the newly recruits and actually tells them or basically asks them who actually started this they were all uncomfortable then he said well since no one is willing to say who started this bet that before they all leave there that they are all going to have to give him a kiss on the cheek and falak was not included in this next day he sent for mario to come to his office where he proceeds to tell him that he heard that he knows how to mount televisions which mario agrees to then ismaya gives him an address that after work that he should come to that address to help him mount his television at home ha <laughs> we all know that ismaya actually have an ulterior motive well falak does come to ismaya's house while falak was there seated Aismaya goes to the kitchen to actually get something for both of them to eat. Yeah, he actually cooked something for both of them to actually eat. After eating and mounting the television, it was already midnight and it was going to be impossible for Palak to go back to the army base. So... Ismaya suggests that he stays over that he would actually give him or write a pass for him. So he was welcome to stay the night in Ismaya's house. The next day, Falak was angry over the incident that happened in the practice room with the gun. He went to the restroom, but Ismaya went there also with him, telling him that why did he behave like that? That he's not supposed to behave like that, that he should be smarter than that. That instead of him complaining that he should actually go for what he wants, that he should actually do it. Valak hearing this actually kiss Ismaya. <laughs> The next day, at their passing out ceremony, the ayah superintendent announced that Ismaya had cancer. Falak, hearing this, was very sad. After the ceremony, he goes to the hospital in which 
Ace Mayer is admitted at and visits him.